what is it, JJ? Today in this video, uh, I'm going to be reviewing this kit I got, which is the um, Fashion Angels. Let me see what it says. Textile stamping kit, and I already used this. As you can see, I made a shirt, but I'm not gonna say if it worked very well or not. So as you can see on the back, it says like on the back they have these super cool designs. I wish I was patient enough so I could do this, like do these, but I'm not that patient. So, what it comes with in this kit is, I'm just gonna say it doesn't say what it all comes with. Um, so, it comes with, oh, okay, so on the back it says it comes with the Project Stamp, the Textile Stamping Kit, so, hold on, uh, Prex Project Guide, 10 ink pads, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Uh, 10 stamps, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 stamps, 6 stencil sheets, 2 practice pages, fabric marker, color, fabric marker colors, and style of compacts may vary. So anyway, basically a lot of times they give you these kits but you can only do it on paper. These you can do on clothes, which is so cool, but if you do get this, I'm just going to say read the instructions. Because there's a part where you have to set the ink, which basically means you, after you do your, all your fancy stamps and your coloring with this marker, you need to iron it to set the ink. So um, when you wash it, the ink doesn't all come off, or when you wear it and you sweat. So basically, yeah. So you don't have to use stencils with these. So if you don't want to use a stencil, you don't have to. I love the stencils, personally. I love the stencils. They're so cute. So, um, sorry. So basically, I'm just going to show you the book real quick, and it just says, has like a little clip right here, clasp, so you open it up, oh gosh, and I'm also going to say something, it does come with these little stencil kits, if you want to use them, you have to rip them out, just saying, so I have this one here, which just has some diamonds, stars, hearts, like little sapphires, diamonds, all that stuff, this one has some music notes, you know, peace signs, hearts, heart with wings, which is so cool, then you have this one, which has a pineapple, strawberry, cherry, and banana. Um, then you have the letter stencils. So these right here are these uppercase, yes. Uh, these are uppercase and lowercase. These are more. And then these have some numbers and hashtags, you know, plus, minus. We have some sweets, sweet stencils. And then we have the directions, which I'm not going to go through. Then if you go a little past the directions, you have some practice sheets. So if you want to plan out what you want things to look like. So I think this is such a cool kit. By the way, I don't know what the retail price was because I got this as a gift. Um, so today actually, because my dad's cousin is here with his wife, and they're just such nice people. I love them. So I called them my uncle and all. So they got me this, and I love it. So um, yeah. So let's get stamping. And I'm not gonna include the part where I iron this because um. Yeah, that, that takes two minutes to iron, by the way. So, as I said, um, if you're like me and I'm stubborn, I do not read directions. Read the directions, okay? And by the way, if you are little and you're going to need to use the iron, make sure you have a parent's permission to also, also, it requires clothes. So, if you have your parent's permission to stamp whatever clothes before you do it. Okay, so let's get on into the stampage. Anyways, before we do, I just want to make sure if you guys know about my new contest... It is on Instagram, Musical.ly, and Snapchat. If you send me a snap, Musical.ly, or Instagram pic, or video with your own DIY project, and I will pick the best one, and I will give them a shout-out. So, yeah. And if you do use one of my ideas, <laughs> you will not be in the contest. And you have to make sure you use, you tag me, so you say, um, like, hashtag, whatever the hashtag is, it'll be in the description. And you have to put... Uh, inspired by or tagged by or whatever, you just have to put my social media name. So, all my social media names are in the description. As always, so anyway, enough blabber, let's get on into the video. Okay, guys, so let's get started. So, I have my little stamp kit. I can't show you this part, unfortunately. So, basically, it opens on the top. I just kind of cracked it open. So, I'm warning you there. Um, if you do happen to purchase this kit, um, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by these people who made this kit in any way, shape, or form. So anyway, it comes with 10 stamps, if you didn't catch what it comes with. comes with, I mean, 10 ink pads of all colors. It comes with light green, black, gold, teal, 
uh, just regular blue, orange, silver, purple, yellow, and pink. And I know it has these little, like, prints on them, but that does not mean, um, like, you can just stamp that and the print will come out. Okay, anyway, it comes with ten little standing, has a square, a little tag shape, big circle, a little circle, a little, um, I don't know, what do you want to call it, a little sl slash, triangle, another slash going to the other way, a other triangle, a smaller square, and a rectangle. Okay, so, and then also comes with this black fabric pen. And I guess if you want to draw something you can, I'm not going to. Uh, oopsie, most likely. So, yeah. Okay, so there is a way to open these stamp things, by the way. Like, sorry I'm stifling a lot, by the way, also. Um, so it looks super hard, but all you got to do is take the little black part and just hold it by the plastic and pull. And it might get on your fingers, the ink, but the ink is, like, super washable. So do not worry. So let me just scoot this little baby over. So what I'm going to be, um, you know printing on is these white shorts. I'm not sponsored by the brand. These are, if you see the brand, I'm not sponsored by them. But anyway, so let's get printing. So I'm going to do the back shorts first. And um, if you are doing this on a table, I'm just doing it on my DIY desk, make sure you um, uh, cover your surface. Or, yeah, anyway, so oh, you like my nails? They're like, oh, I'll show you this one. This one's my ring figure. It's like half teal and half Sparkly. Anyway, <laughs> never my nails. So I'm going to do on the back. <sighs> Sorry, I'm sniffling a lot. Like I know it's so annoying to people, but I have such sniffles. So okay, so I have this stencil, which is the one with the music notes and all that. So on one heart, one pocket. <sighs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. So, bleh, so sorry for the sniffles. I am going to do the heart with wings. So I think that is going to be my right pocket because I cannot show you guys in the left pocket. So I'm going to put it like sideways almost so it will fit on the pocket. So you can tape it down to whatever you're doing it on or not. So what I'm going to do is take my circle pad, my little stamp pad. Oh, and also you're also going to need some soapy hot water to wash it in, but I don't need that. And I'm just going to pick my ink color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick... Oopsie, I cannot, cannot get it out. Okay, I'm going to pick teal for my center, since it is my favorite color. And I'm also going to pick some... Oh, what color am I going to do? <laughs> I think I'm going to do some silver as well for the wings. And, yeah, so let's get started. So I'm going to take my heart stencil. I'm not going to tape it down or anything. And I'm going to start by doing the wing on this side. So I'm going to basically be doing kind of an ombre effect, or trying to, because I am not an artist, not the best artist, so uh, bear with me. So yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to take my little circle pad and start by taking... Actually, I'm going to start by filling in the heart first. So I'm going to open my little um, ink, ink pad. So it's like ink, ink. What's the word? Oh, gosh. Hold on. Okay, so I opened it up and got the little color. I don't know if you guys can see it very well here. I'm going to try to shine the light better. Yeah, hopefully you can see it a little better if I tilt it. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'll take my circle and just dip it in the ink. And by the way, I'm warning you, my green ink, my light green ink, was super watery. I don't know if it's just me, so just comment in the comment section if you're super watery, if you did buy this kit. So I believe you can get this kit at Michael's and Target. I'm just saying, just saying. Okay, so... I'm going to start by just stamping and filling it in. So, I'm just warning you, or not warning you, but telling you the more pigments and colors you use. So, if you use, like, yellow and, like, green and pink, those colors are so pigmented. But then if you use, um, and if you use, like, a super dark color, like black, it's also very pigmented. But if you use colors like, uh, the silver, the gold, and the purple, those are not super pigmented. <laughs> just warning you. Uh, yeah, in case you're kind of surprised when you get the kit. So I'm basically just going to fill that little heart stencil in. It doesn't look super good on camera, so <laughs> looks better in real life. Now I'm going to take my, um, what was I going to use? Uh, yes, I'm going to take my rectangle stencil, if I can get it out. Sorry, I have to, like, I have to keep opening the little plastic part, see, otherwise it gets on camera. And we don't want it to get on camera. So what I'm going to do is just take the, uh, hold on, I'm trying to, Okay, there we go. I'm going to take the rectangular stencil, as you can see, the small rectangular one, I mean, compared to the circle, yeah. And I'm going to dip that in the silver ink. Oopsie. <laughs> Hold on. Excuse me. These inks are very hard to open. 
Okay, so I got the ink open. I got some of my finger. I don't know if you can see. But anyway, we're going to take it and just simply dip that in your, uh, your, uh, in, your wow, don't even know the word. <laughs> so it gets a little bit on the black part, but that's all right. So I'm just going to kind of brush it in the wing stencil part. And I'm just kind of dab it in. I would do a dab if I was like my face was on camera, but it's not. So, because right now I'm, uh, yeah, making stuff. Okay, so I'm going to basically just press it down and use an ink. And so, I, if you get some of it in the teal, that is perfectly fine. So, I'm going to take my ink again, dip it in, and do the second wing. So, yeah, I think I get sometimes I get it more on the stencil. <laughs> Then on the actual pants, or shirt, or whatever you're doing. Oh, and by the way, I did this on three materials. I did it on a shirt, which is a lighter fabric. I did the de denim um, on these jeans, and then I did it on a really thick holster jacket. And let me tell you, uh, no, I'm going to say this now. It worked on all of those things. So, yeah. So, if you're wondering if it works on different materials, it does. And it also says in the directions to wash it with cold water. So just just remember that. So now I'm also going to take my silver stencil again and just dip it in the teal a little bit, and then kind of blend it out to make it super ombre and cool. Now I'm going to take my uh my teal stencil and sorry I was like pause pause <laughs> and and basically just put it in the ink and then dip it in the teal to give it a super cool ombre effect. So now we lift it up, and that came out really badly. Hold on, guys. I'm going to fill it in again. Uh, I don't know what happened. Like, it usually works. Like, as you can see, the wings are, like, super, like, invisible. Like, I can barely see them. Oh, wow. It barely got on there. Hold on. It looked better on camera. I was, like, looking at it on camera. Hold on. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Teensy wingsy bit. So, yeah. Let's try this baby again. I guess the ink just didn't want to stay. I mean, like... It's kind of just random. I'm just like, huh, the ink is just not staying on here. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but when I, like, zoom in my camera, it looks really bad. So, if it looks really bad, then I'm super sorry. So, now I'm going to try to do it over here. I'm sorry if you can't really see it over there also. But it's kind of hard to see over here. So, I'm just going to, like, literally, I'm not even going to dab it anymore. I'm literally just going to rub the ink on the pants. Oh, and by the way, guys, you do not want to use this ink on your face. If you think you can stamp it on your face, please do not do that. What? Like, that, did, that didn't even work. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess that one didn't work. That stencil didn't work. So, now I guess I'm going to do is just fill it in with some teal. Just, you know, not teal. Uh, gray. Just go in with some gray. Do that. Very pretty. So, I guess it looks pretty cool. Like, it's like, it's kind of cool, I guess. So, I'm going to just, Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of not at the same time. So anyway, I just wasted a pair of white shorts, but I never wear white shorts, so I'm kind of in luck with myself. So next, I'm going to do the other part of these shorts, and oh my god, I am burning up in my room. I do not know why, but I am burning up in here. Oh my god. So, oh no! Sorry, guys. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, guys. I totally fell, totally fell. <clears throat> So, next, I'm going to slip my panties over. I'm going to just... Panties? They're, they're shorts. Okay, I sound weird. So, now, up here by the belt line, where you, like, put the belt through, I'm going to do some really cool stencil art. Stencil art. So, I'm going to take the... Oh, I know. I'm going to take this one. This one. This really cool one. The arrow little stamp. And then I'm going to dip it in... I don't know what color. I don't want to do teal. I feel like I've done so much teal. Um, I'm going to test out, I don't want to test out colors, so I'm afraid that, like, yeah, let's actually, I'm just going to put them on my finger, um, I don't want to think, I, I don't know what I'm going to do, I don't know, I think I'm going to do gold, like, I, I'm so obsessed with gold nowadays, it's just, it's ridiculous, so obsessed with gold. Okay, guys, so I swear, it took me, like, five minutes to get the gold open off camera, so anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to start stamping up, so I'm going to stamp it so it goes this way, so get some of that gold in action. Oh, wow, that really didn't stick. Like, it's fairly sparkly. Hold on, let me just, just rub it in there, really. Wow, okay, this, this isn't working on camera. How, this is like, ugh, I'm so embarrassed. If, like, if someone from that company who makes this little stencil pad is watching this, I'm sorry. If 
I'm really roasting your company, but I'm not. I'm trying to. I mean, it worked when I did it by myself. It worked. So now I'm just going to stamp it over here. And, oh, it actually worked. Okay, so I'm going to stamp it over here now. So you got to hold it in the gold ink for a while, apparently. So, and, I, and you want to make sure you're on a flat surface as well. So if you're doing, if you think you're going to do this in the car on the way to somewhere, please don't. Yeah, because you're going to find out you got to do it on a flat surface, y'all. So, boop -ba -doop -ba -doo, that was a pretty bad arrow. I feel like these pants are coming out so terribly. Like, uh, uh. I don't wear these pants. I have another pair of white shorts that I love to death. So, these are not them. So, <laughs> I was kind of like, yeah, sucker. So, now I'm just going to do one final little, whatchamacallit, little stampy stamp. Right there, right on the end. If I can get it to, like, actually stamp, that'd be lovely. Oh, barely did. Okay. Just barely. Like, that gold one is so unpigmented, though. Like, no lie, that is, like, the least pigmented stamp ink I've ever seen. So, I'm just going to put the colors away real quick. Then I'm going to do some teal on the front with the little diamond stencil. So, did I use a silver? Uh, no, I have this circle one for the teal. I would use this super cute little uh, diamond stencil. As you can see, there's like these different sizes of diamond stencils. And it just put it by the pocket. I'm just going to do like two or three. Two or three by the pocket. I don't know how many I'm going to do. Oh my god. These, I have to literally like take five minutes to do the inks off camera. Oh wait, that one opened really easily. Okay. Forget I even said any. I am like so sorry about my uh, sniffles, by the way. So I'm going to lay, just lay it down here. Let's do the side first. So I'm going to start like right here and just, you know, stamp. Oh, wow. See, that barely got, see, look, it got like all over the stencil, but like didn't even get in the actual diamond. <laughs> so I feel like, oh my God, I got some on my finger. Look at my finger. Oh my God. Oh my god, so, oh my god, I'm like trying to, if you like, you can try to like push the ink in the stencil, so let me see. Oh, that actually didn't come out too bad, okay. See, these diamond ones never come out bad. So I'm going to dip it in some teal ink again, and just, oh wow, I just literally rubbed it all over the stencil. And see, well, that one, oh, oh, that looks so cute, that looks so cute. So I'm going to do it on the other side. Okay, so I did it both sides of my pants. So I think I am all done with these pants. So now I'm going to show you some other creations that I made with this super amazing stamp kit. So here, I'll show you what I made. So I made this jacket. This is my Hollister jacket with a pineapple on the back with some music notes. I don't know why I put the music notes because I like music, but this is like my favorite one ever. It is just so cute. And then I'm wearing the shirt. So, yeah, so now let's just go to the outro. Okay, well, did you guys like my video? Because I certainly like doing it. Hold on, I gotta spray some perfume up in here. It's just like hairspray. Like, I. Ugh. I don't know how to. It's called Pretty as a Peach. It's not taste like peaches. Okay, so anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to enter my DIY contest. And if you guys do use this kit, um, make sure to get, send me a picture, a musically, or a snappy chat with you wearing your stuff you made. So yeah. And make sure to follow me on all my social medias because there's always fun stuff there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!